Hello everybody and welcome back to Custom Minifigures Daily. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to build uh, a Guardians of the Galaxy, the um, Volume 1 Rocket Raccoon. So, it's when he wears like this orange looking jumpsuit at the beginning and stuff. I don't know. I so, I've been trying, I've recently been remaking some Guardians of the Galaxy characters just to, you know, not to make a showcase or anything, considering most of them are all store-bought. Well, I've made a couple of customs. Um, but yeah. Um, I, yeah, so that's what's going on here. So... So that's why I decided so to just make some rocket. It's kind of out of the blend, I guess, but yeah. So I guess we'll start with the legs. So the legs, they're, I don't know. I, I didn't have any orange short legs, so I kind of disappointed. So I decided to just use gray because it was the second closest color to match his like fur color. And that I used, so they're really chrome. I, I don't think you can see from the screen, but it's pretty chrome. I got them off of Mighty Micro's Ultron versus Hulk, I think is what it's called. Um, for some reason they give Hulk a drumstick, who knows why, but that's why. Um, and then moving up for the torso, I used, um, it's from the, um, Snowspeeder Pilots, or also maybe on the Snowspeeder Luke Skywalker. I like it because it's orange and it has a little jump, like, this thing on there, so that's why I chose it. Plus it's one of the only few orange ones I had. I'm sure if you really wanted to, you could probably use, a, um, a Construction Workers one, but I decided I want to use this one just because it looked kind of spacey, and you know, Rock Raccoon is from space. And then I just used the orange arms, which can also be found on this. And then I think it comes with white hands, but I decided I'd use gray. These are on the actual Rocket Raccoon minifigure. Um, and that's, yeah, also where I got this little headpiece from. I bet, I actually, I feel like rather, I feel like I'd almost rather use um, the one from the Endgame one, because just because it has a better little thing here. But I actually kind of like this one a little bit more, but if you wanted to have a little more gray touch, I'm sure that would work too. But I just said I wanted that one because it was a little bit nicer and it just kind of has a cleaner Rocket tune. Then also for the, okay, so now for the gun, the trickiest part, I think, of the, all of this. This requires only, um, it looks like only five pieces, so, but the pieces are pretty big. So, basically for this thing, I used, um, so you, one of these, it, I think it's on a video camera, it's like the bulky gun. Then I got one of these pieces, which will have the little nub with this thing on there, and then I stuck them in there. As far as it would go. It's a little loose, so I might change the piece or something, but I'll keep you posted. Then I use one of these pieces. I like it because of the big front, kind of like a machine gun. Plus it has a little, like, plus thing here, and that fits in there, if you can see. So I decided to put that in there to make it look like a gun. Then I thought this looked kind of too, like, stubby, so I decided to make it be, like, a bigger rifle. So I put one of these Minecraft torch pieces I kept in white, and I added it on the back there. And then I give it to Rocket, and I think this just looks super satisfying as far as a giant gun for a little raccoon. Oh, yeah. So, there you go, guys. That is the Rocket Raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And also, for more of these awesome videos, I don't actually know if they're awesome or not, but for more of these videos, yeah, press subscribe um, to become one of the members. You can It's easier to find this stuff, or you can just search me up, too, and then you just click on the little... Thing. And then, um, also, if you want to, you can share this with other your friends, maybe if they like Legos or anyone like that. Um, and then, um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Custom Manufacturers Daily.